Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Split Croatia. This is our day three, right? Day three on the ship, yeah? Yes. Yes. First time in Split. Let's go look at our view. The land might be on the other side of the ship because we only see the water from here. We're gonna go have brekkie first and then we're gonna head out on, onto the town. We don't really have a plan today. We were invited to a couple of things like beach clubs and stuff, but we decided that we would rather like explore the town of Split. So we're gonna go do that. Good morning. I'm back. He's back. I think he was absent so, last night. That was so weird. It's pretty. I think this is like one of the locations for uh, Game, of Thrones, Game of Thrones, right? It is. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna be going to some spots that I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I was googling it, and that's what I said. Um, that where they actually. Were yeah. Playing, so. Excited. Oh, fancy know. meeting you here. Good morning. Oh, hello. 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 Uh, my brekkie is here. I'm gonna do the eggs Florentine for breakfast. And Coco did a panini. And then Kate, what did you order? Eggs. Eggs. And toast. Ooh, and fun. Bacon sausage. And Mallory is long finished. Very muesli, my dessert. <laughs> <laughs> muesli is her dessert. Are you guys ready to get off the ship? Alright, so I think it's deck four. Okay. We're, we're, on we're on seven right Let's now. Yeah. So one there. down, or a few down. Mally, your first time getting off of a cruise ship. How does it feel? <laughs> Good. It feel I weird. What it's like to be back on land. I know. Touch, just touch <laughs> it's the been ground. A day. It's been a day. It's two days. Oh look, what are they doing here? Are they refueling? Interesting. I've never seen this before. Do they really? Can you believe we're in Croatia? Can you believe we're in Croatia? We are. I can believe it because I'm here. Coco and I say that about everywhere we go. There she is, a resilient lady. What a pretty ship. So pretty. So we're starting our walk to the city center. We really don't have a plan today. The only thing on our agenda is a wine room that Coco found. Different jail. <laughs> oh, and the palace, yes. But oh, that's pretty over there, look. We want to end up over there. Maybe like 10 minutes away from the ship is this lovely little area. We're already saying that it's better looking than Athens, right? Oh. Sorry to all now she don't want to say it. Sorry to all your Greek followers, but Athens was. Oh, we might have to leave that one on the editing room floor. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave that in the drafts. <laughs> you can out me if I ever hurt your feelings. Be like, this is what she said. Actually, says. Coco is taking us down some alley. This kind of feels like the forbidden, not the forbidden, the one in Harry Potter, like the the scary one. This is the underworld. Diagonally. Oh. We're lost in some like crazy, creepy alley. Look at this. Stay here and get killed. <gasps> Is that really what it means? No, I just made that up. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah, we don't know how to get out of this little, what, what, what would we call this? An alley? An alley. Well, you know what this means? This means kiss my you know what. We found the wine bars in Fendel that Coco found online. It's cute. It is 11.23 in the morning and Coco and I are having a glass of wine already. Look at us in Croatia. So we're doing a Croatian white wine and Mallory's having a tea and Kate's doing a water and we're all gonna do water. Let's do a cheers to our cheers. first Croatian wine. Cheers. Let's see what Croatian wine tastes like. It's very refreshing. We are heading back to the ship. It is only 12 o'clock. We haven't been out that long, have we? It's just really hot. It's really hot. It's cute here. We saw what we needed to see. And now we're gonna go back to the Brazilian lady. The benches have chargers. Whoa. Kate just said the benches have chargers. Does it work? Look at it. Work? it, it yeah. Powered by solar. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Solar yeah, powered so chargers. Wow. That's the most interesting thing I'm I've so seen all day. <laughs> Guys, we're back on the ship. We put on some sunscreen and now we're heading to the pool. Hopefully, there aren't many people in the pool right now. Everyone should be out in Croatia, but we'll see when we get up there. Oh yeah, there's lots of open chairs. We're not gonna have to fight anyone for a bed. Yesterday, Coco almost got into an altercation with someone. And we were even able to snatch up a bed today with no altercation needed. There was no altercation. <laughs> Coco almost had to fight somebody yesterday. No. 
you just listen. You deserve what you want in life, and sometimes you gotta show up a little more and more aggressively than other times. That's it. You guys look. Look at Kate. How sweet is she? You're gonna get me a drink at the bar. How's the water? Very frigid. Frigid? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. <laughs> Fast forward a few hours. We are having dinner. An extra version tonight with Mallory. Ooh, Mallory, I love it, that dress. Yeah. Did you know that there's a restaurant named after me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to keep that in the vlog? I will, yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that'll be in the vlog. If you like a hot single man, we'll see it straight. Um, follow Kate at Kate the Great right here. We are at Extra Virgin. We have a lovely view. We have a porthole. We're almost going to leave Croatia in a little bit. We got some appetizers, meatballs, 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 calamari, Aperol spread. Are you guys enjoying your cruise so far? Yes? We love it. Are you a cruiser? We'll be back next year. You'll be back, yes. <laughs> what about you, Kate? What do you think? I still need to be wooed. Oh, she needs to be wooed a little more. One hour later. That's the best friend right there. <laughs> That's the best friend right there. Cleaning off my shirt. He's putting a Tide pen on my shirt. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> so we left dinner at Extra Virgin. We had an amazing dinner this evening. We came back to the room so I could change. And I noticed I had some stains on my shirt. Out of nowhere. And he's like, don't worry. I got a Tide pen. I'm going to clean your shirt for you. So... That's what we're working on right now. Oh, it looks good, actually. It's legit. What? That's insane. It's, oh, it actually worked. Yeah, it erases it. Jeremy, put Oh, me my on. gosh. So we're getting ready to, like, go and, like, maybe go to the club for the evening and, like, festivities and socialize throughout the ship tonight. But, yeah, so far, Resilient Lady has been an, uh, an amazing time. What would you say? Not the kiss. Not the... Not the... Not the, the chef's kiss. The, the chef's bon kiss. Appetit, baby. The chef's kiss. Have you had a good time with the Scarlet Lady? I sure have. I mean, I'm sorry, not Scarlet. Resilient, resilient Lady. Resilient Lady. I feel very resilient I'm about life after this cruise. The next day. Good morning and welcome to Dubrovnik Day. We're here in Dubrovnik. We've arrived this morning. It's 10 in the morning. Dubrovnik time. But the ship, it's 11 in the morning. It's like an hour time difference between the ship and the place where we actually are, which is kind of confusing a little bit, but we figured it out. This is our view that we woke up to this morning. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, all of the above. But they are right now washing our sea terrace. They came through and like started hosing it down. So I'm not trying to go out there right now, but I'll go out there later and I'll show you guys. But look how pretty, look over yonder. Pretty. So apparently this is where they filmed Game of Thrones. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Anyhow, anyway, did you have a good evening last night? I did. Uh, I was dancing and sweating and the club was not very full, so I had space to twirl around. That's true. <sighs> the DJ sucks. We were heading off of the ship. We're going out into Dubrovnik. We just had a long breakfast. And today's Mallory's birthday, so we're gonna go celebrate in Ooh, Dubrovnik 31. in Croatia. So on this ship, they have like a door that opens up here that takes you out into the gangway area. So as soon as you get off the ship, you turn here to the left and then they have these shuttles here in Dubrovnik that take you to where? That was Pile right. Gate. Pile Gate. Or Pile Gate, I don't know. We turn to the right, not to the left. Don't let him lie. Did I say left? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You turn to the right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on the bus now. Are you excited to go see Croatia? Well, we were already saw a part of it. Or, I mean, Dubrovnik. Southern, Southern Croatia. So we got off of the bus that so dropped us off here in the old city. We're walking because we're gonna go catch the cable cars. It's here, Dubrovnik Zikara cable car. But anyways, up there is where the cable car takes you. There's a lot of people that fit on there. And there's no chairs, there's no seating. Oh goodness. We are boarding the cable car. Oh, it's pretty spacious in here. Fits lots of people.
we've just come off of that cable car and this is our incredible view from the top. How pretty is this? Whoa. The video doesn't do it any justice. <laughs> no, it's so much better in real life. So we're in the observation deck and then we see up above there's another one and Kate's up there. <laughs> we're gonna have a drink, maybe some food at this cute little restaurant right by the edge overlooking the town of Dubrovnik. Yeah, it's perfect. You like it? Yeah. It's private. Like like. Thank How you. Shy, Amazing this view is. When are you ever going to be having a cocktail overlooking Dubrovnik again? Oh my god. You know, maybe next year when I come back. <laughs> On our next cruise. On our together. next cruise. <laughs> I'm not cruising with you guys we're, ever again. We're buying Excuse me? Take it back. Make me. Oh! <laughs> Mary, will you cruise like? with us again? Always. My first alcoholic beverage in Croatia. Oh, that's a lie. My first alcoholic beverage in Dubrovnik. Cheers. All right, back on the cable car, going back down. Did you have a good time at the restaurant? I did. This is cute, right? Look at this. So beautiful. I just want to know if you didn't book your ticket to come back down, how the heck were you getting down this long... We're going back to the cruise ship now. Let me tell you something. Summertime in Europe is no joke. All right, there it is. The bus is pulling up, taking us to the Resilient Lady. Yes, Resilient Lady. We're back at the Resilient Lady. We're gonna go get on board, get a little bite to eat, get a cold shower. You wanna go to Opa Hour? Yes. Okay, let's go. Seahorses, we're heading to the dock house because that's where Opa Hour is. So Opa Hour is basically like their little two hour time frame where they do like Greek foods. All right, we're here at Opa Hour at the dock house. Look at all this delicious Greek food, except for that, that's not Greek. <laughs> but this is all is part of the Opa Hour, like lamb sausage, cod souvlaki. I feel like we're missing something, right? The, the sweets. The sweets. And the... And something else. The, these are just all the skewers. Didn't we get like... Or the mezzi plate. The mezzi plate. That should be here the shortly. Yeah. Okay, so this is the other stuff that didn't come earlier, but yeah, the mezzi plate. And then we have this like hummus and tzatziki and pitas. And Coco decided to join us. Mm -hmm. I just need a recharge. He needed a recharge. So now I'm about to do something that I've never done on a cruise ship before and that is go and get a haircut on the cruise ship. It does cost $59 here on Virgin Voyages to get a men's haircut. My grades are starting to come in tomorrow, Scarlet Night, and I think I just she wanna have to a fresh cut. Fresh. She wants to be fresh to death. Yes, I wanna be fresh, so let's go do that. I'll bring you guys along. Fingers crossed for a good haircut, because you know sometimes it's like nerve-wracking like when someone new cuts your hair. The fellow that's doing it looks quite hip, so I think hopefully. That would be us judging a book by its cover. Hopefully. But I said hopefully that transfers to skills. Hopefully, it's co hopefully we're correct in that assumption. <laughs> Really quick, just want to interrupt the video to shout out my travel agents, the Getaway Guys. They have been booking my cruises for the past year and have been getting me some really good rates, which is why I've been able to do as many cruises as I have. They are also Virgin Voyages top 100 travel planners in North America. And when you book a Virgin Voyages cruise through the Getaway Guys, they will also hook you up with some sailor loot, also known as onboard credit, as long as you're booking a sea terrace cabin or higher. So if you're thinking about booking a Virgin Voyages cruise or any cruise line for that matter, definitely hit up the Getaway Guys because they will find you the best rates. You can also also follow them on Facebook and Instagram to be the first to find out about all the greatest new cruise deals. All their contact info is here on the screen. Now back to the rest of the video. Okay, so the men's uh, barbershop here on the ship is on deck six midship and it's right here in the little nook. Stubble and groove. I'm scared. Are you familiar first of all with fates? Mm -hmm. You know how to do fates? I think so. You think so? Oh no. <laughs> that's, the, that's the not good question because we are the barber so we know how to do it. I can't even say that but if you ask me like I know how to do it. I know how to do it, absolutely. Well, this is how it looks inside of Stubble and Groom. This was not the hip one that we were speaking of earlier, but we will see what happens. One hour later. I am not happy with the haircut. It did not come out good. There's definitely, it just, uh, I don't even know how to, how to explain what went wrong, but I was trying to help her fix it. I'm just not happy with it, but there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Coco's like, oh yeah, I can see what, what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> to Francesco's defense, we went in because we were thinking it was going to be the other barber, as we had said earlier. No offense to any of the female barbering community, but we didn't want to like embarrass her and be like, hey, we want the other guy. And Francesco was like, do you feel comfortable doing it? She's like, well, I am a barber. And she said, I'm so confident. Like, I was like, okay, this is about to be fire. 
and it more looks like a fire's been put out and the ash that comes after it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No. Just, it looks like just, a dumpster fire. <laughs> just go to dinner. I'll be here for the next four days until I get it's, back it's to really America. It's not that bad. It's just not what you want or you were expecting. Blending is hard. I thought I was going to be a guy. I know I shouldn't judge a book by its cover or discriminate, but I like to get my hair cut done by male barbers, you know? And that's all I'm gonna say about that. All right. Update. I called Sailor Services to let them know that I was unhappy with my haircut. And then they graciously offered to have the other barber try and fix my hair tomorrow. At so, 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. So that's what's gonna happen. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Obviously no charge, so. And do we, we're gonna point out what is wrong with it so they see that you're not. Wait, no, no, I don't think we should. Just, just, well, I, just don't think, I don't side. think we should, it's fine. Just, <laughs> it's just, fine, no. Just. So initially I called Sailor Services and I complained. Well, not complain, I just let them know that I was unhappy with the haircut. But then I went to take a shower and they called back, so Coco over here had to pick up and act and pretend to be me. Cause I'm an actress! <laughs> <laughs> I'm acting! If you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race, so that is Tammy Brown. He told the story again to the person who called back, and then he's the one who made the appointment for me tomorrow. So, thank you, Coco. At the wake for the evening, Mallory birthday girl looking snatched, honey. You're looking snatched too, but it's not your birthday. She came with outfits, honey. She, she did. She did come. She is serving She came all over consumption. Swipe up for details and I'll let you know. Oh, swipe up. We don't have. We don't do that anymore. Click to subscribe. Click the link. Click the link to Click subscribe. Click the link down below. I can teach you how to over consume clothing and fashion. So. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday. 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 Thank you. Love the candle. I'll make a wish. Which candle? They go the candle. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, Coco and I decided to call the night early because we decided, well, I decided for myself that I wanted to recoup my body because tomorrow's Scarlet Night and I go wild on Scarlet Night. Well, I did on the last one. Um, but anyhow, and tomorrow we're going to Cotor in Montenegro, and I've never been there before. Um, the only thing that's kind of like eh, annoying about it is the fact that there is a tender that takes you to Cotor, so we have to like get on like a little boat. So like we're basically hopping off our cruise ship onto the other boat, and <laughs> that takes you to the land. So that's what's happening tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed the Croatia portion of this cruise vlog. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, turn on the bell for post notifications. It will alert you every time that I post a brand new video. Like I said, tomorrow is Montenegro, the day after that is Corfu, and then the day after that is a day at sea, and then we go back to Athens to fly home. So stay tuned for all these fun videos to come. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.